Okay, we now have our project written into the Click CPU's memory. Let's put the CPU into run mode to get ready to test our project. From the PLC pull-down menu on the main menu screen, select PLC Modes, as shown here. Or, you can click on the PLC Modes icon located on the PLC toolbar. The PLC Modes dialog box can also be accessed by clicking on the Connection Status Indicator located on the toolbar as shown here. Wow, that's three different ways to access the PLC Modes dialog box in the software. The PLC Modes dialog box will be displayed. The opposite of the current mode will already be checked, so to change modes, just click the OK button. I know that sounds confusing, but in my software, it said that the CPU is in stop mode. So if I go up, click on the dialog box, when it pops up, it already says run, so all I have to do is click OK. To verify the CPU is in the run mode, check to see if the green LED run status indicator on the CPU is illuminated. We can also select the status monitor icon located on the status toolbar to see status conditions of the ladder logic. We now have our project loaded and running in the CPU's memory. Well, we've talked about all this and we're talking about putting the CPU in run mode, but we've only been using the software. There is another way to get the CPU into run without using the software. Now keep in mind, when we first started out, we established communications with the software. We're plugged into port one, and the terminal button on the CPU has to be in run mode. On our traditional Direct Logic PLCs, the terminals on the CPU all have term, stop, and run. Typically, if you're communicating with software, you want to be in term. Stop meant you forced it to stop, and run meant you forced it to run. Well, on click, you only have two selections. You have run and stop. If you're communicating with software, it has to be in run doesn't mean that the CPU is going to be forced into run, it just means it's going to be in run and the software can control the function of the processor or the CPU. So here we've got it in run, we're established communications, so I can select the software, tell it whether to be in stop or run. Now if I remove communications, which I do here, I can tell the CPU by selecting the terminal switch that I want to force the CPU into run mode. Right now it's still in stop because that was the last state. So I can go down to stop, back up to run, and you can hear that the CPU is actually running. We did this with just the terminal switch. Part 9 in this video series will show you how to test your project using the built-in data view feature of the software. Until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>